Hey guys, this is Blend Master here with another tutorial. And about a week ago, I got a question asking how would we unwrap the bricks of my igloo so that we could paint a texture on it. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and it's very simple. I haven't found the quickest way to do it, but I found a workaround that's pretty easy. So what we're going to do is select our bricks. And right now, if you move it around, you see that the model gets distorted because there's a shrink wrap modifier on it. And so we're going to press M and move this to the third layer, and then go to the third layer. And we're going to apply the subsurf modifier and the shrink wrap modifier. So now when we move this around, it's not changing its shape. Okay, so now what we want to do is hide all of the modifiers from view so that it doesn't get in our way when we're editing this model. And I'm going to add a shape key. So make sure you add your basis and then the key 1. And then tab into edit mode, wireframe, vertex select, and select the bottom row of vertices. And I'm going to turn on proportional editing by pressing O. And I'll scale up this igloo to create a sort of slanted dome that curves like that. So I'm just going to shrink it and scale it up like this. Oops. Okay. And then like that. And then I'm just going to scale everything in a little more like that. Okay. And I think that's good. And now what we're going to do is open up a new window and change this to the UV image editor and I'm going to create a new image I'll name it UV um, texture and I'm going to change it to 2048 by 2048 I'm just going to change it from a black color to a white color like that and then with all of our vertices selected in top view I'll press the U, project from view, bounds. And now if you wanted to export this UV layout into Photoshop or some other software to create a texture, all you would do is come down here to where it says UV and then export UV layout. And I'll just save it as UV layout. And if you wanted to edit the texture in Blender or Texture Paint, I'll show you how to do that right now. So what you want to do is go to the node editor and add a new material for a glue and I'm going to add a texture coordinate node in our image texture plug in the UV and select our image and plug that into the material and then we'll go back to the UV image editor and instead of having the mode on view we're going to switch it to paint and I'm going to tab out of edit mode and delete our shape key so now you can see we got our UV uh, edit good here, our UV layout, and we retained our original image. If we had edited it before, we could have lost our original model's shape. So that's why I added the shape keys. So now to go to texture paint mode, we'll just switch it like that. And over here, I'm just going to change it to a black color with a strength of 0.3 I guess and a really big brush okay and I'm just going to drag around like that or I'm going to change the strength to one really quick and I'm going to make everything black like that okay and after this I'm going to change the color to pure white and I'm going to bring down the radius to about a hundred Oops. and change the strength to 0.5 and now what I'm going to do is just uh, go around and randomly click and go over spots and what that does if you look here it looks like the snow is a bit dirty in areas but what I want to make sure is that there's no pure black areas. I just want gray areas. Otherwise, it'll look weird. So I'll just keep doing that. 
and then if you want you can also change the color here to blue or any other color and if you come over here and go to camera view you can draw a picture on your igloo so I'll draw a smiley face and you can draw other random shapes around your igloo different colors green random shapes okay so that's looking good and I'll just go to object mode texture view and I'll close that window and now we can unhide our modifiers and you can see that the texture is applied to our bricks and it's looking pretty nice so I'll just move this back to our first layer and shift click both and now you can just render out your scene like normally and you'll have a texture on your bricks and you can do the same thing for the uh, this cylinder part of the igloo as well just add a shape key scale it out and then project the UV from top and then paint the texture on it so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thanks for watching I hope you learned something new if you have any suggestions for future tutorials feel free to leave them in the comments as well thanks for watching